You can now level up your operators in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies to unlock powerful game-changing upgrades, these being containment levels, and the higher you go, the stronger your player gets. So in this video, we're going to max out our containment level, unlock all 10 of the perks, and test out what they do. Then we're going to find the best method to farm containment levels quickly, and even show an easy method to max out your containment level going from level 0 all the way to level 100 in one single game. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. As you can see, our current containment level for this operator is 0, meaning none of these perks are active let's go change that so how we get these points to upgrade our containment level is by doing contracts and the zone you do the contract in determines how many containment points you get so i guess let's start off by doing a tier one contract and see how many containment points we get beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. all right mimic i'm sorry but uh you got to be taken out for some points for my own personal gain i'm sorry but um this is what the game is forcing me to do nothing personal but um just just enjoy your last few moments hi there and oh no 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 all right all right Screw you. Boom. Big bounty eliminated plus one containment point. All right, makes sense. One containment point for a tier one contract. Hey, 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 what? Okay. We're just lighting on my car. What did I do to you, EBT? They what you want about Modern Warfare zombie players, but at least they're friendly. They're offering to clean my car with lead. I think they're trying to steal your car. They wouldn't steal my car, right? He ever gets out of that, and he's got problems. Hey! Hey! All right, your car's gone. <laughs> They would do it twice, right? <laughs> no, there's no way they do it twice. What is his problem with my car? You know, I, I love Modern Warfare zombie players. They're um, they're kind people. Enough distractions. Let's get back on track and do a tier two contract now. Nice little deliver cargo waiting for us. And no, the type of contract you do doesn't matter. It only matters what zone you do it in. So all tier two contracts will give you the same amount of containment points. So that means you want to do whatever contracts are easiest and quickest for you to complete. Deliver cargo contracts are a nice and easy way to get some free points. Boom, tier two contract on. The cargo was extracted safely plus two containment points all right get in the vehicle all right we got a car i know you have a scorcher but ride with the homies i'll let you i'll let you uh you can dj you can control the ox craig what you playing craig what you playing you got you got the ox in your hand what are you playing craig take a song craig i'll let cal pick the song well cal's out in the car all right i guess we're just gonna drive there with no music in silence with the homies bro this is the most this is the weirdest car ride i've ever been in i hate okay doesn't matter <laughs> All right, tier three contract. Let's pick one. Atlas. That'll be easy. Um, dude, this game just gets more and more, <laughs> more and more balanced and fixed every day. There, there's there's no bugs in the game currently. A symbol to the Atlas contract. I get the PND. So if the pattern follows, we should get three containment points for this. See, I like Atlas contracts in tier three because we don't have to shoot. We can just run in circles. Oh, not when there's a dog. The Outlast is inside the building, Naga. The Outlast is actually in our hearts. Contract completed. Environment cleared. Plus three containment points. So you get one point for doing a tier one contract. Two points for doing a tier two contract. And three points for doing a tier three contract. Super easy to remember. Bro, what? Aw. Uh, see, we're going to be the bigger person. You know, from my rage earlier, I want to... No, Craig, no! Craig, no! Hey, 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 what? We're just lighting on my car. What did I do to you? Just, just because they did it to us does not make it okay to do it to them, Craig. I'm sorry. You even did it with the same shotgun, Craig. You're no better than the people who destroyed my vehicles. Craig, you have set a set of actions in motion that can't be stopped now. That guy's villain arc has started. Everybody gets to walk everywhere. Now that we've got some containment points, we have to exfil to be able to keep them and unlock the new perks we're going to get. My operator's ready to ascend. You know, I kind of feel like we're pack-a-punching our operator just a little bit. It's almost like we're sticking our hand inside the pack-a-punch machine. Our other objects inside the pack-a-punch machine. What do you mean by that? Boom! Two perks unlocked. So just by doing those few contracts, we're already at containment level six, which means we've unlocked two different perks. We're now going to start the game with 500 essence, and we're also going to start the game with five armor plates. These two perks aren't that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world getting these. However, as we go through and get more of these levels, that's where things start to become pretty game changing. Here we go. Now that we've loaded in, you can see we do have 500 points on spawn and we have five armor plates, a nice little bonus to spawn in the game with, uh, but let's go unlock the actual good stuff. All right, contract farming, activate cool montage. All right, two more containment points. Two more points. Another mimic. There you go. Here's the lead. And there's the containment points. I've already lost track of how many I had. Mangalore. I'll take them points. Put sister 38. One tier two. And we're 40 even. Give me them points. Contract complete. 
All right, good little grind session. Even though there's 13 minutes left, I think it's about time we expo. That way we can unlock our new perks because I'm kind of excited to test these ones out. Oh, look at that. Five new perks from one game. What a grind. Containment level 40. Now let's check out the new perks we unlocked. At level eight, we unlocked the ability to start the game with 1,000 essence. At level 12, we unlock 30% off perk machine cost. From this point on, all of the perks we buy are gonna be 30% cheaper, and that makes a big difference. At level 20, we unlock the ability to start the game with 1,500 essence. At level 30, we unlock 30% contract essence reward. At level 40, we unlock the ability to start the game with 2,500 essence. And yes, all these perks are active at once. Uh, however, with the essence, you only start with whatever the last tier is. So we're only gonna start the game with 2,500 essence. But all these other perks should be working at the same time. So on spawn, we have 2,500 essence, five armor plates, but those aren't the rewards I'm excited to test out. Now, the perk that I'm most excited about is the extra essence you get from contracts. To test this out, let's throw out all of our money. There we go, got $0 to our name. Go ahead, pick up a contract. If this works like it says it does, it's gonna be so easy to farm money now. All right, let me open this deliver cargo. So normally from a tier three contract, we would get 5,000 essence. However, theoretically, we should now be getting 30% more than 5,000, which quick mass, that would be 6,500, right? Okay, well, we're about to find out. Come on. 6,500 essence from one tier three contract. And that's not just one time. Every time we do a tier three contract in this operator, we're getting that much essence, which is gonna add up very quickly. To test out the other new perk we got, we gotta head to a perk machine. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. So if we open up the Wonder Fizz machine, oh yeah, they are cheaper. Instead of being 2,000 to buy a perk, it is only 1,400. We were pretty much able to buy all of our perks. We spawned in this game, did one tier three contract, and we have every perk that I want from, from doing one contract. So not only are we getting 30% more cash from contracts, our perks are 30% cheaper. So, you know, what one tier three contract and we're pretty much set for perks for the rest of the game. And we're not even max rank yet. There's still more perks for us to unlock, which only means one thing, more contract farming. So if we want more perks, we got to deliver more cargo. Oh, that, okay. I'll take it. That was the sickest way I've ever delivered cargo in my entire life. Yeah, we're, we're, we're delivering enough cargo to arm a small army. Wait, plus two? That should have been plus three. Look at that. That 30% extra makes such a big difference. We've just been farming contracts this game, and we have 100k each. All right, there's one type of contract we haven't tested. Let's head into the Dark Ether to see if we get additional points for doing Dark Ether contracts. Did I, I place in the sigil? Oh, I forgot it's buggy. Dude, we're in the zone. I don't got time for this game. I need you to... Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, gotta find the sweet spot. There we go. Let's get it, boys. Seeing how we get 5,000 points for a Dark Ether Rift, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be three points, but there's only one way to find out. Oh, plus three. Okay, yeah. So doing them in the Dark Ether is the same as just doing a tier three contract. The Dark Ether is not very good for farming containment points, unless you're already coming in here. And I mean, I guess you get the points. Come on, give me them sweet, sweet Dark Ether points, baby. I mean, at least the contract rewards are better in here. Another VR11? Bro, I'm, <laughs> I've got three VR11s on me. I got one for everyone in the squad next game. Yeah, I don't need one. You can drop my one. No. You're gonna take a VR11, you're gonna like it, Craig. I want a VR11 out of every contract. If I don't have an entire inventory of VR11s by the time the game ends, I don't wanna play. Oh, come on. Give me them sweet, sweet points. Yeah. What? Ah. Uh, yeah, so someone was telling me that going into the dark ether bugs out your containment level, and that is 100% true. We just spent an hour and now have less progress than what we. All right, I guess we'll run it back. Quick little contract farm again. Uh, I'm mounted on the vehicle. What the f that popped the f tire. Oh, I can still. Okay, this is kind of risky. Last contract for the game. Boom, containment level 138. There we go. That's more like it. This time we didn't go into the dark ether and we were able to keep all of our containment levels. We were able to max it out. 
to max out an operator you just have to get it to containment level 100 so let's see what perks we unlock from now that we're maxed out so before that game, we were already at containment level 40. When we got it to containment level 50, we unlocked the perk 50% off the mystery box. So now we should be able to go in game and buy the mystery box for half price. When we got to containment level 75, we unlocked the perk of spawning in with 5,000 essence. That's enough to spawn in and immediately pack a punch your weapon. Then for the final perk, when we got to containment level 100, we unlocked 20% off the pack a punch machine. And that's for all three tiers. So now we can max out our weapon a, a lot cheaper. Uh, let's go in game and test these out. I'm on spawn with 5,000 points. Look at that. 5,000 essence right off the get go. Oh, and there's a pack machine here. Wait, it says the pack a punch machine costs 5,000. It's supposed to be cheaper. Is it just not going to take as many points? Wait a minute. I got scammed. Can I get scammed? Oh, okay. I was kind of excited for that perk that because that one's one of the more stronger ones. I just thought it was a visual bug. It said it was going to cost 5k and I'm like, oh, it surely it's not. But no, it, it scammed me. I want a refund. All right, surely it's cheaper here. No, it says it's 10K. Maybe I gotta go to the tier three zone. Okay, tier three Pack-A-Punch. Maybe it's cheaper here. No, it's still 10K. Maybe it's only the final upgrade. So just to make sure it's not only tier three, so we pay the 10K. Yeah, and now it wants 15K. It's charging me full price. Okay, screw you, Pack-A-Punch machine. Let's see if our other bonus works. Hopefully, the mystery boxes should be half price. It's 950 okay let's okay let's see if it's a visual bug we'll drop all of our money until it, so it's okay we'll pick up we have a thousand dollars so no it took well it seems like all the late game perks don't work i i don't know if i'm doing something wrong i mean at, at least we spawned in with 5k we spawned in with 5,000 essence that was one thing that was supposed to work and that perk was actually after the mystery box so we know it's registering that i am at least up to the ninth perk but Perk 8 and perk 10 aren't working. Are my perks still discounted? Am I... Yeah, my perks are still discounted. It's it's just all the other stuff that's not working. Maybe we exfil and come back and try it again. Maybe it just takes another game to load in properly. Pack a bunch machine right in front of us. Containment level 120. Okay, so game if i'm containment level 120, then I should have 20% off the pack a punch machine, correct? These work oh yeah it works now i guess we just had to play another game but yeah it's not five thousand anymore it is four thousand so now that we're using a maxed out operator we can pack a punch for four thousand for tier one so if it's not working i guess just exfil and try again they're a little bit buggy which is kind of the name of the game for modern warfare zombies check out tier two pack yeah tier two pack is now only eight thousand dollars on this operator and tier three pack only 12,000. So with the 30% discount, it means you can fully upgrade a weapon for 24,000 points. And that's on top of spawning in with extra money and getting 30% more money from doing contracts. The combination of bonus money and cheaper Pack-A-Punch is so powerful, you can spawn into a game with no Pack-A-Punch crystals and get a max Pack-A-Punch gun by doing three tier three contracts. Three contracts to go from a tier zero to a tier three pack a punch weapon and then after that you just have to do two more contracts and you can buy all of your perks five contracts to get fully maxed out to put that in perspective without the operator upgrades it takes nine contracts in the tier three zone to get fully set up so it's almost half it takes about half the amount of time to get set up once you have a fully geared out operator that's a ton of time to save almost forgot about the most important upgrade is the box half price yep 475 essence to buy the mystery box so um for the mystery box enjoyers if, if you love spending your money on the mystery box uh you can get it half price although me personally i don't ever buy the mystery box honestly i don't i don't know anyone who touches the mystery boxes in modern warfare zombies everyone just kind of uses the weapon they spawn in with if you want to use it you can do it 50 percent off save some cash the difference between having a level zero and a level 100 operator is massive now finally let's go over how to max out an operator in one single game going from containment level zero all the way to containment level 100. our strategy for this is pretty simple since tier three contracts give you the most amount of points we're going to try to do the most amount of tier three contracts possible, but we're only going to do the fast ones. We're going to do the HVT slash big bounty contracts, because if you have a fast killing weapon, uh, you can go through these super quickly. We're also going to do the deliver cargo because these are simple. And we're also going to do the tier three spore contracts, because if you know what you're doing with these, you can pick up the inhibitors, throw them down, get them done fairly quickly. We're going to be skipping all of the rest. We're not going to be doing any of the outlast contracts, any of the safe contracts or any of the escort contracts. These just take too long. The issue being there's going to be points in time where there's no contracts left in the tier three zone. You're either going to have done them all or canceled them all. At this point in time, when there's no contracts left, you want to go into the tier two zone and just focus on the big bounty contracts. But while you're doing this, keep an eye on the tier three zone. As soon as a new contract spawns there, 
do that and then when you run out again go back into the tier two zone just rinse and repeat as for class setup, you want to use whatever is currently the best boss destroyer. At the time of making this video, the flamethrower is the best weapon, and the crossbow with explosive tips, also amazing. However, in the future, if these get nerfed, you just want to use whatever the current best boss destroyer is. Also, having a scorcher helps a lot because it allows you to fly around the map and pick up these contracts quicker. But using this strategy, I'm almost positive we can max out a character in one single game, so let's finish this game out and see if we can do it. Holy. Oh, Wolf made it too. Successful Xville. 113 containment points. Not only were we able to get maxed out in one game, we got 10 extra. Doing that method, you should probably be able to max out a character in one game. Probably every time you try it. All my characters are sitting pretty right now. We've got uh, 120, 159, 113, which is what we just did in one game. Uh, 121 in 138. So this new containment system is super powerful, worth doing, and game-changing. And on top of all that, it's extremely easy to farm and max out. So I recommend doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you see more videos like this, make sure you like this video. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these camels.